Hello everybody and welcome to a new series in our Enrichment Library videos. So for this series, we're going to talk about the ukulele. So today we're going to talk about the history of the ukulele and its origins, basically just where it came from and how it became popular over time. All right, so we are going to dive into our ukulele origins and basically figure out so many questions about um, the ukulele and get some answers. So let's take a look. Now, where did the ukulele come from? So the ukulele is a Hawaiian instrument. Um, however, it didn't always start out in Hawaii. Its roots actually come from um, the Portuguese instrument, the Bracuina. Now, um, the Portuguese people are from Portugal, so they sailed on some ships over to Hawaii, and eventually the Hawaiian people modeled the ukulele from the Bracuina in 1879. And just like the Bracuina, the ukulele has four strings on it, which is really cool. Now, um, there were some people from Portugal over here, and they took their instruments and got on a boat and sailed off in the Pacific Ocean all the way to Hawaii. They then gave their instruments to the Queen, and the Queen of Hawaii loved it, celebrated, and gave it to all of her people to play as well. So it became very popular. But when did the ukulele first become popular? Well, let's go ahead and take a look. Once the Hawaiian people modeled the ukulele after the Portuguese Bracuina, it became very popular in Hawaii. I mean, there were so many people from the Hawaiian Republic that started playing it. And in the early 1900s, tourists came to Hawaii and they fell in love with the wonderful ukulele music. So we can see um, the person to the top right is playing for some people and his uh, traditional luau outfit. And then some tourists just under him are enjoying listening to some wonderful music. Now, when the Panama Canal was built in 1915, people set up a Hawaiian pavilion to play ukuleles to celebrate. So people loved listening to the Hawaiian ukulele um, music and they brought it to different regions of the world, which is really cool. Now, who are some famous ukulele musicians? Now, one of them is a guy named Johnny Noble, and he was known as the Hawaiian Jazz King and played and composed all kinds of music in the 1920s. He also helped Hawaiian music become popular on the radio, but it wasn't until um, George Kanapu in the 1930s um, played the ukulele and sang many, many songs. And since recordings were much better, people started listening to even more Hawaiian music. So Johnny was a Hawaiian jazz king, but George really made it, you know, to where more people could listen. And then flash forward quite a bit. In the 1990s, um, the wonderful musician Israel Kay started as a Maui performer, well known in the hula community. So he only really played for the hula community until later on. In 1994, one of his songs sold millions of copies, like all from Hawaii and also from the Americas. His version of Somewhere Over the Rainbow became an international hit in 1997. So what that means is that people all over the world loved his version of Somewhere Over the Rainbow, which is really cool. Now, what's the ukulele like today? So not only is a ukulele a popular Hawaiian instrument, but the ukulele is popular all around the world. So especially after all these musicians started playing, um, people fell in love with the sound and they wanted to play it too. And it's small size and nylon strings make it easy for anyone to learn how to play. So all kinds of people, they can hold it. The nylon strings are nice and soft on your fingers. So you can practice and play for a long time. And some schools even have ukulele ensembles and they teach students how to play them in general music, which is really neat. And also the ukulele is featured in several current popular songs like Riptide. And they are also continually played in some older songs too. So 
Overall, the ukulele is a super fun instrument from Hawaii. All righty, well, thank you guys very, very much for joining me in today's Enrichment Library about the history behind the loved ukulele. So bye everyone, have a great rest of your day.